There's a lot of great things about being a woman in business in El Paso. Uh, it's, I think, a lot easier here than it is in some places. Maybe not 20 years ago when I started, uh, but you know, that's when I had to put Boss Lady on my business card just in order to get people to listen to me and not ask for a man when they called. But you know, there is a lot of respect for the art, and as soon as you show people what you do. They take a step back and they take you seriously, and I think we've accomplished that. Our shop is in a old vintage brick warehouse building that was built at the turn of the century. Um, we have a staff of approximately 12 people. We love training young people. Everything is built right here in our shop. It's all 100% custom. So the oldest, coolest way of making handmade custom boots, 100 lemonwood pegs in each sole, no plastic. There is nothing that leaves America. <laughs> it's all made in the USA, just cowboy authentic. This time we got a letter from House of Holland, a fashion house in London, and they said they'd been stalking us on the internet and would we make some crazy boots for London Fashion Week for their runway show. And turned out we did all of the boots for their fashion show and we got to go to London and our boots were on the runway on all the top models and it was at the Tate Modern and I got front row seats next to the designer's mom and it was a blast. One of the best parts about doing the House of Holland runway show was we got reviewed by Vogue. Uh, they do a review of every runway show and they literally said that what we do is American couture and that everyone out there should Google us and check out our, our boots. So we were pretty excited about that coming from Vogue. I'm gonna rock away my boots up in